Welcome back to yet another YouTube video. Thank you guys for clicking on the video. This is gonna be a really big video, so make sure you watch it all the way through to the end because we are gonna be announcing a lot of big things in this video, so you're not gonna to wanna to miss it. Definitely stay tuned. All right, so where do I start? I, I never know how to start these videos, so bear, bear with me. Um, it is 2022, it is the new year. Bye bye 2021, hello 2022. And it's been a while since I've uploaded other than my last vlog that I just uploaded. It's been a while. The last video that you guys see me on was when I purchased my car. So if you haven't seen that video, go check that out. I bought a new car, amazing video, super, super awesome, super, super refreshing, cool video. So check that out. Yeah, it's been a while. So I'm gonna catch you up real quick and then I'm gonna talk a lot about 2022. So it's a lot of big things coming up. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the end of 2021. Now, towards the end of 2021, I started to get a little fatigued, um, super burned out, and was just feeling like I was doing too much, not resting enough, and I felt like I needed a little bit of a break. So I took a pretty good break from lifting, um, social media. So the plan was to take about two weeks off and to get back in it, and that was going good the two weeks were going good i felt good i felt refreshed and i was ready to get back but then i started to get sick so this is like december and i ended up getting sick it took some time off from work so i was just resting trying to get better it was my asthma that was acting up it was a couple things going on so the plan was recover get back as soon as possible and basically led into christmas so i got sick for a little while it was like a week and a half two weeks whatever the case it was like I said, it all started with my asthma. And then to simplify a huge, long and complicated story, I ended up having an allergic reaction Christmas night and ended up in the hospital. And because I was already sick and there was other things going on, the allergic reaction just made things worse. And before you know it, I was battling like five different things all at one time. And it was just not good. Ended up in the hospital for like eight hours. They ended up letting me go after they treated me. They did all kinds of stuff, but I didn't really trust the doctors. There were some things that happened in the hospital and, and some things that the doctor did and said that just led to a lot of distrust. So whatever, that night, thank God, finishes. But of course, two days later, I ended up back in the hospital because my symptoms were getting worse. And this time around, they gave me some more medicines and they treated me and they added some more medicines and some more treatments that the first hospital was supposed to do, but they didn't. So of course, my trust issues came in handy this time because the second hospital actually did what they were supposed to do. And after a little while, after a few days, I ended up getting better and pretty much making a full recovery. My voice, I don't know if you can hear it, it's a little bit raspy because for whatever reason, my voice just hasn't come back 100%. So every now and then my voice was strained pretty hard. But other than that, I feel good. I got tested for COVID multiple times. Every single time it came out negative. And yeah, now I'm feeling good. Back to work, back to social media and ready to kill it. So with that being said, all that stuff led into 2022. It wasn't until like the third or the fourth that I started to really feel a lot better. And mind you, this had already been going on since like before Christmas. So this was way too long of it going on. But now that we're in 2022, I'm feeling better, I'm feeling rejuvenated and ready to attack this year. So I wanna talk about what the plans are for 2022. So for 2022, the plan is to absolutely kill it. Not only are we gonna go hard on coaching, not only are we gonna go hard on the clothing brand, not only are we gonna go hard on working out, but we are gonna go hard on the social media as well. This year is a year where I really wanna take over social media and really just explode with content and really just put all out effort into social media to grow the brand, grow awareness in it, and just to have as much of a positive impact as we possibly can. Now, the reason I'm saying we is because I can't do any of it without you guys. I can push out the content. I can try my hardest to make 
as good of a content as I can. I can try my best to help as many people, but it is up to you guys to help spread the knowledge, help spread the channel, help spread of licks, help spread all this stuff, because I know with your guys' help, we can not only have an impact in our community, not just in our state, not just even nationwide. I know of licks is rooted and founded in an idea that can honestly change the world and I'm not gonna stop until we reach that goal. So with your guys' help, I know we can reach it. Now, talking about goals, I do have some very, very big goals set out for this year. First one that I'm gonna talk about is the clothing brand of Licks Fitness is growing. It is definitely growing and we are growing our customer base and now it's time to widen that bad boy out. With the launch of the Exodus line, with all the products that we already have and the, and the products that are getting ready to come, I know you guys are going to absolutely love this brand, love the items. These are quality items and, and it's just crazy to see the growth in just over a year in this brand. So the goal with the Vlix isn't necessarily anything numbers wise. It's just literally to have as big of an impact as we can get this year, expand as much as we can, do our best to grow and, and get these items into as many hands as possible. Next thing that we're gonna cover is coaching. So with coaching, the biggest thing that I wanna really improve in and work on this year is finishing the gym. This gym has had so much work put into it, so many long days, long nights, no sleep to get it to where it's at, but it's still not complete. and. It should have been, or at least should have been a lot more complete than it, than what it is now. And I honestly have no excuse for it. There, The gym should be a lot further along than what it is, and it's entirely my fault. But this year, I'm putting away all the excuses. I'm ready to put in the work to make this gym one of the absolute best home gyms that this can possibly be. So everything is gonna be documented, everything is gonna be recorded and put on YouTube so you guys can expect some awesome content from the home gym build. Keep an eye out for that. Next thing that we're gonna talk about is training. So it is officially competition year. This is going to be my first ever competition. I'm competing October 2022 at Christian Guzman's Summer Shredding Classic. Now, I'm doing men's physique, but I also am considering doing classic. I haven't made up my mind if I wanna do both, so I'm gonna be thinking about that and it'll possibly be two divisions that I'll be competing in. But this is my very first competition and I am so locked in to giving it our absolute best that I know this is gonna be a phenomenal journey. Now, whether I place or I'm dead last, to me, that means nothing. The placing to me doesn't mean anything. Obviously, the goal is to win. The goal is always to win. But if I don't place, I'm dead last. As long as I know I gave it my best and I gave it my all, then I really can't complain and I really can't see how I really lost. So in my mindset, I'm already a winner just by stepping on that stage. And as much as I can't wait for that day to come, I can't wait for you guys to see the content that's gonna come with it. Because speaking of content, we are actually going to change the name of the journey with that competition. So if you guys have seen my past videos, you have seen Mission Competition. I don't know if there's one part or if, there, or if there's two parts. That was an old title for the journey to the competition. We are done with that. We are taking that out. I never really liked the title. It just rhymed and I felt like whatever will roll with it but it never really like stuck with me. It never felt like it just hit. So we're changing the title from Mission Competition to Road to Show. I'm excited to announce that Road to Show is gonna start in a few weeks. I'm trying to get my physique back to what it was because I lost a little over 12 pounds when I was sick and in the hospital and that time being out. And I had so much water weight from all the medicine and everything. And it was it's just rough. So I'm trying to get back to it. So in a few more weeks, you guys are gonna start seeing episodes for Road to Show and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Now, finally, social media. I do have goals all around for Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all these things. But to me, the biggest one is YouTube. YouTube is the biggest one that I'm going to be grinding the hardest in. And not only that, but I have very specific goals for YouTube. I'm making the promise to myself and I'm committing mentally to uploading two to three times per week to try to maximize as much growth as I could possibly get. 
And with that comes the goal of subscribers. And to me, the subscriber number isn't really what's important. It's the impact that you have on those subscribers. So that's what means the most to me. But I am going to quantify this goal. So my goal for YouTube is to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. It's an insane goal for one year, but it's a goal that is very well possible with your guys' help and with your guys' support. So overall, guys, there's a lot of stuff coming for this year. There's a lot of big things coming. I can't wait for you guys to see. I can't wait for you guys to see the content that's coming with it, to see the items, the gym, everything. There's so much to come. I can't wait, and I hope you can't either. So I'm gonna end the video here, guys. If you guys are just as excited as I am, please, please, please leave a like. Leave a comment. The comments help so much. And if you believe in the message that we're trying to set out on this channel, and if you believe in the brand of Lix Fitness, the idea behind it, and what impact we're trying to have on the world, if you really believe in that, please consider hitting that subscribe button. You don't know how much that helps. All the engagement, all the interactions, everything helps so much to push the channel and get the channel out there. Because with your guys' help, and with your guys' help only, we can make it to 1K. So. Happy to announce, we're on the road to 1K. Hope you guys are ready, because it's about to get crazy. Peace.